What's up everybody at Dust and Depp and uh, today I'm going to show you guys the Sonos Play Bar as you can see here. Um, I was going to do an unboxing video for you guys on this but uh, it, you really couldn't see a lot when I did it so we're, we're going to, I went ahead and I mounted it here and I'm going to show you some things about it. Um, first off with the Sonos Play Bar you'll notice that you can actually mount it on the wall like I've done here or you can lay it flat which is pretty cool. Um, on the end you've got the same buttons as you do on almost all Sonos equipment. You've got the uh, the volume and the play and pause. The difference between the play bar as far as inputs goes is the play bar has a has two ethernet ports so you can actually connect this straight to your router and then from this you can connect another uh, ethernet port to your say your Sonos Play 1 or the Play Sub is what it's ideally made for that way you don't have to have a wireless bridge but if you do buy the wireless bridge then obviously you don't need to connect them. Um, what else? What else? This one here has the uh, the IR thing on the front, obviously, so you can you can tune it with multiple remotes. Um, a pretty cool thing about the Play Bar is the fact that you can buy this mounting kit, and it's really easy to mount on the wall. So I've actually used the Play Bar mounting kit, as you can see there, but you don't actually need it. It's got uh, holes in it in the back, just like it would um, anything else just like anything that you would hang on the wall, any picture or anything like that. So you can technically, you can hang it up with two screws and save yourself a little bit of money. The cool thing about the Play Bar mount kit though, that, that I just showed you, is that uh, it has a built-in level and it comes with a stencil so you know exactly where it's gonna hang and you know it's gonna be right. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it for this video. It comes with the ethernet cable as well uh, and it comes with the optical audio cable. So when you buy this thing, remember that you don't need to buy a separate optical audio cable. When I went to the store, they told me that it didn't come with one and they didn't have the box out. So I went ahead and bought one anyways, but you don't need it and you might as well use the one Sonos comes, comes with the Sonos equipment anyways. Um, so basically all you have to do to hook this thing up is plug this guy into your bridge or your router if you don't have a bridge and then plug the one cable from your tele television into here, the optical cable. and. Uh, you're pretty much good to go. You follow the app on your phone or if you have the Sonos controller you can use that but the, the app on your phone is better than the Sonos controller. You can also get it for Windows or Mac so uh, so yeah it's uh, it sounds amazing but I'll do a sound review for you guys in another video where we actually play some play some sound and I'll set it up at different angles so you guys can hear it all. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything about the Sonos Play Bar let me know. Uh, at Dustin Depp. Thanks a lot. Bye.